Welcome to the course, Learn to Speak Vietnamese for Life. This is an advanced course, and I'm glad to have you guys with me on this journey to learn how to speak Vietnamese. Um, all of us have different goals when it comes to learning a language in terms of whether or not we plan to use it on a trip to Vietnam or with friends or co-workers or uh, a loved one or if we plan on becoming totally fluent and living in the country and speaking the language for life. This course is for anybody who has already had some sort of Vietnamese training. So if you already took my course um, learn to speak Vietnamese like a native, then this course builds off of that. It assumes that you already have a basic understanding of the language, you have some vocabulary, you understand the tones, and you've already been practicing the language. So it's a more advanced course, and because of that I've organized it differently. Instead of breaking it down into this is the grammar, this is the language to use about food or about clothing, etc., as I have done with the basic course, and which I think is appropriate when you first start to learn a language and to build out your vocabulary. It needs to be systematic and it needs to uh, sort of follow a checklist sort of a strategy. Well, just like when you learn to speak a language and you use the language in the real world, um, it's better, I have found, to study at the higher levels in a less organized way, actually. So I've, I've organized the course in a way that might seem to be a little bit more random that's by design because the way that our brains interact with language and the way that we actually use it is very much more arbitrary because you don't know what someone's going to say to you and you don't know what you're going to want to reply. So I have arranged the course so that we will be looking at all different kinds of words and phrases. I've grouped it together um, in some cases because those are things that we will use together. In other cases, I've grouped together these useful words and phrases in terms of them sounding alike or being easy to remember together. Sometimes we can learn words and phrases that are totally unrelated in meaning, but they, um, they look the same or sound the same and therefore it'll be easy for us to remember. In other cases, I've grouped them together because we can, we can either use these things together or um, I've taken a word and I've built it into a phrase or um, a few phrases and um, it's easy to learn that way. And again, this is all based on my experience teaching English, learning Vietnamese, and teaching Vietnamese. I have found what I think works really well. And um, a lot of it is different than what you'll learn in regular language courses or, or textbooks or Rosetta Stone or whatever, because I have found what I believe to be the most effective and useful way to learn languages, which is to mimic the real world. We want things to be colloquial. We want things to be useful. Um, I don't have a lot of time to spend learning all kinds of uh, vocabulary and um, grammar constructs that I will not be using every day, right? This is what um, I say in my first course. If you've already taken that course, if you haven't taken it yet, then um, I recommend that you sign up for both classes because you're going to need to have a lot of the material from uh, Learn to Speak Vietnamese Like a Native in order to understand uh, and do well in, in this course. But basically, my whole philosophy, and so far I've been very successful with this method of teaching, is that we want to mimic the real world, we want to get rid of everything that's superfluous, we want to boil it down to things that we will use every day, things that are said in a way that the natives say them, in a way that locals will understand you, in a way that you will understand the locals. And so if it seems like we're not covering the, the uh, breadth of the language in this course, that's because I'm only using things that we, we say all the time. So I want you to have a core um, from both of my courses that you can go out there and use that um, you will literally use every single thing that you learn in this course on a daily basis. I think it's the most efficient way. I think it's the most helpful way to teach a course about Vietnamese. And it's all based on my experience learning the language, speaking the language, living in Vietnam for five years. I plan to go back there soon and live there permanently, actually. And um, I'm married to a Vietnamese person, so it's, uh, it's easy for me to stay up on the language and, and constantly be building my vocabulary and learning new tricks and stuff, uh, especially when it comes to colloquialisms and slang and the way that they actually use the language. When you think about studying English from a textbook, you look at the textbooks, 
And that's really not the way that we speak language usually, right? It's usually pretty formal. There'll be a lot of stuff in there that we don't say that way. Um, they don't have a lot of the, the conjunctions in there, like how we say gonna or wanna, you know, and things like that that aren't proper English. And so they don't teach it that way, but that's how we speak. And so I've put together my courses in a way that hopefully is the most natural and the quickest to learn. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna get right into it. I'm just gonna go through the course. And um, since this is such an awesome platform where you can watch these videos over and over again, I'm not gonna be going really slow or anything like if we were in a live course. Um, if you already took my, my first course, Learn to Speak Vietnamese Like a Native, you know that I go through it rather quickly. Um, and that's because, of course, you can stop and pause it, you can practice, and you can rewatch the videos as many times as you want to. I will say this um, as the last thing in this first video that you really have to master each thing, each step before you go on to the next um, bit of material. You want to be able to say the words, you want to have the words memorized, and in language you'll find that you need to be able to pull these things up in your, in your memory, in your short-term memory, very, very quickly. I remember when I first got to Vietnam, I had been studying Vietnamese for several months before I even got there, and um, people started speaking to me, I tried to pull up the phrases and the words I've been studying and they wouldn't come. And they wouldn't come uh, quick enough or smoothly enough. And so you really have to master each part before you go on to the next thing. Really get it down. And it may seem slower and more arduous this way, but it's going to be permanent recall. It's going to be something that stays with you and you'll be able to use it. So the goal with language is not to learn as much as you possibly can, as fast as you possibly can. The goal is to learn each thing deeply so that it's a permanent addition to your memory, something that you can recall quickly and that comes up quickly when you need to call on it and you need to use it. So I recommend memorizing all the vocabulary and memorizing these phrases and you practice the phrases together so that when you pull up a phrase, you can spit out the whole sentence or phrase just as you would one word and that way it comes out together and your recall of that, it will be um, encoded that way in your brain. And um, I find that to be very useful as well. So with that, we'll get right into the first uh, lecture of the course. Anh trong cơn gió đông về, phải chẳng khi biết yêu. 